right on the edge of the woods or just uh see where that wood's cut off there yeah they're just beyond there it's two of them <coughs> friendlies or not sure my heckles are up so i can guess uh, maybe not but uh just to the see what the sawn off wood is over there it's facing us tree just to the left it looks like some sort of oh yeah over there got it yeah just to the left over okay there. <laughs> maybe when it gets dark, we'll go and have some fun over there. Right, should we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Is there any energy in here then? In here, More so than outside. Um, outside, they picked up two people. I felt sick past one of the buildings. But like um, Maurice just said, from there to here, there's like a threshold you go over. It's quite, quite heavy in there. It's not a, um, a nasty. Is this just the new part or is this the old part? This is new. This is the new, <coughs> okay. The new waste because this was first and then yeah. this is second. So, what would have been on this where we are now? Nothing, Nothing at all, no. just the ground. No. In fact, we didn't, when we built it, we didn't, it was only after we acquired it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What um, Steve's doing is look, okay, to meet that we showed you the other day. He's just making sure we know where the electrics are. If there's anything <coughs> She's not happy that we're in her space. <coughs> she cooked then. I, I don't know if she used to be like a tea... Oh God, I'm going to say that. A tea lady? A tea lady, yeah. But she didn't class herself as a tea lady, you know? She was there to make people welcome. Um, <coughs> didn't kind of like to be called a char lady or a tea lady, you know. So that's what I'm getting. There is a very high spike over near the um, fridge over there. It goes up to five. But Where's this energy at this moment? Then? Everywhere. In it's the whole building, or is it down in the kitchen? That's electric. That's electric. Yeah, it's giving up quite a hard thing, high thing there. Okay. Do you get anything there? The whole thing is completely changed. It is so heavy, it's isn't just it? Heavy, yeah. <coughs> just you feel, feel it. Yeah. I feel it in the tummy, yeah. yeah. You know when you like. Definitely. I suppose it feels like a magnet, you know, like pulling you down? Yeah. Mm. So this might be a good place yeah. later on. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. And they actually have heard audio in here, so it could be a good place to do it things. It is. And the st static camera as well. Get one of the up there. I mean, have you had any activity in there yourselves, staff-wise? Um, not that I'm aware of. Well, it's funny you should say that because only a, a couple of weeks ago they had five strange things in here, and at one point we ended up with somebody's dinner all up the wall. Don't know what was going on on that day. You don't normally get five things like that all happening or five accidents. The old chap there, oh, I've only got one pair of hands to clean all this up, and then something else happened, and something went down, all within a few hours. Okay. Well, that's significant, I don't know. Di, yeah. do you remember a few, a week or so ago, when there was all sorts of accidents happened in here all at one time? Did anyone oh, mention God. it to you? Yeah, oh, yeah. That was the day that someone heard someone in the kitchen, voices in the kitchen. Um, and then in the space of about an hour, hour and a half, three people dropped their dinner plates. Nothing to do with each other, and it was like bang, bang, bang. There was food everywhere. Like someone was just going around knocking the plates out of their hands. We never get anyone drop anything, do we? And all no, of a sudden, that day, no. there was drinks, food, everything. Was there a particular group of people at the time? It was quite busy. Um, we might have had a coaching. Just general. Otherwise, it's just general people. Yeah. He was going to uh, come back in an hour. So it's never game time, it's always lost it. 
but then it gets stuck on a time. Because it needs a new battery. We've done all that. So you've put a new battery in the, yes. in the <laughs> block? It's got a new battery in it. Steve just reset it. We're going to seal the room and then come back and see if anything's happened to it. We've actually asked them to push it on instead of losing it time. Push it on a time. Okay. Curious. Okay. So we'll get battery fan and set them both the same time and see if one's running fast or slow. Which is the one that usually loses it? Whichever one is on that wall. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's perfectly fine you take it off that wall. Yeah. But as soon as we put a, we put a brand new plug up there, exactly the same thing happens. <laughs> I was putting it down to the energy should. field. Shouldn't do. You picking up anything? Saw something in the um, diesel window. You mean diesel window? There's a diesel engine around the end corner here. Okay. She just looked over, thought something was in the left hand side window. What person? She can't say. Shape. Shape. Yeah. Shadow. Yeah, what it is. Jan said that there was somebody over in the yard in her face, in all the women's face, just saying, get out, get out, get what? out. Man. Man, yeah. Women don't belong here. Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on, Eva. <laughs> your lights are going mad in your office. Faulty tube. Shows that it's time to go. Yes. Okay. It was on earlier though, wasn't it? There's our first message, I think. Come back yeah. with me later. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said it's the line changing. What's that? Yeah. Oh, on the crossing. There's a big yeah, Marie. <laughs> yeah, big clunk. Could, Could that not just be the line the you... No, okay. No, <laughs> I think it doing the stick. <laughs> it wasn't cooling down. Nothing it doesn't get, doesn't get hot there. And it was just a bang. A yeah, it was almost like the sound of a signal rod about to change, but yeah. it didn't. But it's right on there, where there's no signal rod. <laughs> How would you describe that? Well, what would you say that was then? I mean, you work here all the times. I haven't got an answer to that one. You can't. I was standing literally there. <laughs> so you heard that? Yeah. Okay. Someone sitting here. Yeah. Whereabouts? I'm, I'm sitting on. Okay. I just decided to sit on them. <laughs> You're feeling energy. I'm getting cobwebs in my face. Okay. Mm. Man, women? I don't know yet. Why did you pick this carriage out of all the carriages? Because I, well, I was trying to sense if anything's in any of the carriages. I was told to come to the red, the red ones, which are all these, and just to go along and look. And as I looked in here, I thought there was somebody in here, so that's why we've come in to see it. Okay. But if somebody wants to go next door, Paul, did you want to go next door, Paul? Yeah. I feel these two, you'll have to get um, Roger, Roger to, unlock, to unlock it for you. Yeah. Shall I go next door? Yeah, if you've got a digital block. Oh, I'm getting swirly now. It's not But Roger was saying that these, this wasn't a line before, this was the waiting room. So there would be huts here. Okay. On this side, and people would sit and wait 
for trains to come. Okay. Um, but they opened this line up so they could go off to ride. Back in the um, back in the forties, I think he said. So are you saying that the person that you're feeling could possibly not be waiting for the train? Do I don't feel we should be sitting this way. I do feel like they'll be sat that way. Right. I do feel like there's a chair. Another chair there. That way. And the spirit that you had in your face across the way there. That's um, an engineer or an engine driver or somebody who's looked after the trains but didn't like the women being there. Didn't mind the men, but didn't like the women. It wasn't a woman's place. Okay, that used to be the gas works, so it's possible that that's not connected to the railway. I don't feel it's late, later. I think it's recent. Somebody who's recent worked there. Okay. Doesn't like people being there. Yeah. Is it quite a strong energy? No, it's just gone that way now. It's gone in with Paul, is it? Mm -hmm. well, all the K2's going off? Just... It was. Mine mm, is. Just Mine's going nutty. Yours? Yeah, mine's yeah, going okay. Mine's going nutty. We've got a power line here somewhere, I think, have we? In the control centre, not the not near transformers. Okay. So. Oh, it's not strong, there's only one or two until we come over here. Should we pull it up? Mine's going up, mate. You've got, you got power line here. Uh, <laughs> What's going off now? Oh, it's going to the light, light. It's yeah. Smaller, isn't it? yeah. We're talking major power. Oh, yeah. The green light switch goes. Just switch it down and see what happens when I go out. Like that. It's a Christmas tree. Yeah, so is mine a Christmas tree. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, they're all going mad. I've got it here too. I mean, all going mad, I've got to be saying that's good, isn't it? Like that. I would have thought so, because otherwise it'd go one to the other, wouldn't it? Yeah. Unless you've got It's not going to be going like this, is it? But unless you've got more than one person. Could you have more than one person here? You could do, couldn't you? It doesn't feel like there's anything here. It's all gone off. No. Well, there Well. Could you step away, please? Can you make these lights stop flashing? Move away a little bit. Could you move away a little bit? A little bit more. Mine's gone off. Thank you. Thank you. towards me now. Can you hear my voice? Step this way. Thank you. Can you step away again? Can you step away? Just move away a little bit from me. Thank you. Are you a male? If you are a male, can you come towards me? Are you a female? Hold on, see, it was getting there. Before you said female, it was getting there. It might take a, just taking a while to... Right. Can you step away again for me, please? Sorry to keep asking you. Or Thank the, you. Or go to one to the other if it's male or female or something. Yeah, take it off mine. Can you move away from mine then, please? If you're male, can you go away from mine and turn these lights off for me, please? Please step away. Can you stop the lights completely for me, please? Can you step away from mine? Can you move away from me a little bit, please? 
Can you step away so these lights don't go? We've got any power lines on this, yeah. Can you step away a little bit more? Thank you. No. And again. No power lines underneath. Can you step away again, please, for me? Can you make these lights not go up so they don't flash anymore? Basically, switch that close and yeah, Thank you. Switch the lights off. Energy sets the lights off on the little, little growth thing. Just haven't stopped over here yet. Someone swap places with me then, see if we can get it. Yeah. 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 Are you a male? If you're a male, can you move forward towards me and make the lights stand up? Or anybody else? It's female. Mm. <clears throat> Are you a female? Would you like to step forward if you're a female? Are you still with us? If you're still with us, can you come and light the lights again like you were doing? I know it takes a lot of energy. Take it out of us. <coughs> can you step forward just to make sure that we know that you're here again? We'll check on the digital recording later, but it sounded like Liz was the name of the little girl. Um, whether she came in with us or she's here at the moment, we're not sure. Um, but she's definitely moving around in here. She's made the, I think it's her that's making the train go. Um, I can't establish contact at the moment with her as she feels, she, I've got to build up her confidence. Mm -hmm. um, she's come through on the ghost box, but we're still going to work a bit more, see okay. if we can pick up a bit more mm -hmm. from her, get some more information. Okay. Okay. With the little box by your left hand there with the little yellow uh, light on it, and if she wants to touch the aerial sticking out the top uh, as a game, she might find that quite fun, it'll make a noise. Ooh, should you hear that little one? You like to play a little game for us. Come and touch the touch the wire, make the noise. Come through, and all you've got to do is touch that like that. Could you do that for me, please? Be very grateful. You'd like to come forward, touch the little aerial. Nice little silver thing here. Come forward. Work out with on buttons. Oh, night vision. All right. So if she comes, we shall put it over there just in case we're uh, staring her. Yeah. Okay. Okay, darling. You see that? See that oh. little silver box? It's on the toys there. Oh, toys! You like toys? You're a little girl. Oh, that's it. Was that you or was it? No. Nope. Excellent. 
you want to play with the little toys? Play with the toys with me. Take the temperature up. Take it up to four. Come on, take the temperature up. I'll let you go for this one. How did you could have chose? Why did you choose this one? I felt energy on the door. Um, basically, um, and the spirit leaves like a blueprint um, of where it's gone or been. I as an, like an energy line, you know, like ley lines. Mm -hmm. And what you can feel sometimes, you get energy from if you go door to door, you can sense energy. Um, I was poor to this one because it felt quite strong on the door, the energy. So it feel, felt like it's a possibility that spirit has I been here or is here or has left some sort of mark behind. Okay, yeah. Right. Pulling in a female. I'm sensing a female. Um, I think possibly it might be the same what Jan had earlier because it's Victorian with the big meringue dress on, the big white, the little frilly hat, the little umbrella with a dainty with the little frill on, um, dark hair, curly hair. Um, I would say age wise, quite young actually, about 21, 22, very sort of. Very dainty, very pretty, pretty looking. Um, Elizabeth Taylor, quite face, you know, nice and pretty, dark eyebrows, very sort of nice, nice looking, presented, very nice person. Um, seems very happy. Uh, there's the Plymouth connection again. Day trip from Plymouth. It's very really strange because the guy came out with that, didn't he? It's Plymouth. She come from Plymouth. Day trip from Plymouth. So whether this this carriage is from the mainland. These are all from the mainland. They're all from the mainland. Mm. Yeah. So that's good. So whether it's a Plymouth run, she attached herself to it. Um, so Victorian, she's been here a long time. Um, give me a name, please. God, for that we've got English. Okay, excellent. Can you give me a name, please? Slowly. Martha. Is that right? Martha Charingdale. 
That's weird. It's a bit way out of your way. She's saying Stokesbury, but that's quite high up, isn't it? Unless she was born there and moved down. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, she's born in Stokesbury. Oh, she's a fellow September lass. She's a September. September 17th. Born. <laughs> she said she won't give me her age, a date, a date a year, because a lady never reveals her age. That's quite funny. <laughs> um, she's quite, quite nice. It's quite, quite chip. Sort of thing, very chip, chirpy. What's she doing on the train? Or why is she on the train? It's my train, she says. Okay. It's my train. Is this where you, uh, do you use the train to go to work? She doesn't work. Okay. She doesn't work. <laughs> no, she doesn't work. I'm Lady Leisure. Oh. She says, I'm a Lady of Leisure, she says. What is something? Okay. She's got to be a gentleman. She's got to be a gentleman. Yes. Ah. Yeah, she's very happy. Yeah, she's all sort of all sparkly and all. Oh, I see my gentleman. Yes. Where's he then? In Brighton. Boyfriend's in Brighton. Wow. That's yeah, useful because these are Brighton coaches. Sorry? These are Brighton mm. coaches from the London Brighton and South. These are? Yeah, from the London wow. Brighton and South Coast Railway. Wow, well, excellent. That's good. Yeah. Excellent, that's great. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Tingle, she's. <laughs> <laughs> she's pat me on the back of the head now. <laughs> Clever boy. Excellent, thank you. I'm just fading out now. We've got. She's gone. Okay. Just fading out, we've got. Quite a bit of energy there. That was... Can you give us any initial or anything or a it's nickname? It's not as keen as what he used to have it, and it's not spicken like the way he used to have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can yeah. leave that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's proud. He's really proud that you guys are, are um, keeping it going. Yeah, okay. He really is. He can't. There's a lot of people it could be, and there are names rising around in our heads that it could be. And we need to know, who it is. not who it is, if you can just give us a name or a nickname. How See, I was Jones? thinking nicknames earlier. It, that's what comes to mind. I know it sounds like I've just said that. But when I was sitting here, he was saying, oh, call him such and such but he wouldn't give me the nickname of it and I kept saying is he a nickname and he was like yes I'll give you what's a fake <laughs> no you won't want a fake will he um, okay. he's going to prove it to you who it is he's going to give you validation of us Tonight. You will. Oh, right. Okay. His words is going to scare the old buggers. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That's all good. I have to say it as, yeah. as my as Yeah. 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 I shouldn't be here. Okay. I shouldn't have been on his side, but he was alright on the other side. Yeah. And that's the side of the guest that's normally sit. Yeah. Because he's the driver's side? That's right. Yeah. He's here because he loves to be here and he loves what they're doing. This is his place, isn't it? Um, and he'd always be here. 
But he doesn't want to chat with just normal people. He wants to scare the crap out of this lot tonight, <laughs> but he doesn't want to talk with normal people. We don't, we don't interest him. So he's a life, he's, he's a rowing man then? Yeah, he's a driver. He's a, yeah, but is he... Is he, it was the railway, is he a railway man, is it his life? Is it coming through as... Yeah, it was his life, yeah, he was, that was... It wasn't a I've already come up with the... It was a passion. There's a few lodges here that still alive, From nipper to man, he was a train lover. Yeah. Was he paid for it? Was he? Paid for it? Not the beginning and not the end. Maybe a bit in the middle. There's a step here. There's a step here. A man to her, I'm not sure you are. Right. And then again, the, uh, the driver's side is this side that you're on now. stuff in Why? yeah because this engine you drive it from the other side as you do the other side that one and is it married up on this one? Oh yeah well it's the opposite way around so and is that what she's yeah, yeah that's exactly it yeah from that side it feels like they want to throw you out is there any sort of affinity with this engine instead of that one so she didn't or, know or more in that one well, how would you, this one is just it's there's, I can't feel anybody here, but it's just. <laughs> this one, I shouldn't be here, but I can't tolerate it. <laughs> that one. Oh, if is I'm only the other come up next May, I'm only here. You've got some there. I don't mind just sitting over the other side. Yeah, yeah. 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 The there. chaps just told me this there. side, yeah. So I came this side and it was, I wasn't welcome here, but I'm definitely not welcome there. there. Yeah. And that's only something that really someone who drives them would know. It'd be interesting. And I think the chap from that loco or train or whatever. Yeah, loco, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Had a go on this. Yeah, okay. What's that? So the chap that was on that one yeah. also has driven has this driven one. Has driven interesting. He didn't like it as much as his own. Or what about he liked that one better. Did he? Really? He said this what was a bit of a... Wow. Quite nice actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, nothing but the comforts here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is from 6369. Uh, this one, this carriage is 1887 vintage. Oh. And then through here is first class. Mm. Feel free to go in. I'm only stood out in the outer way. This is as far as the corridor goes. Ah. Uh, wow, this is nice. Yeah, it, it, because of the way it's suspended, like it, it, it does sway a little bit. Cough the photo, or no. just picking up something? Cool. No, I just don't like it in there. Okay. This has also uh, long been rumoured to be the Queen's compartment, uh, used by uh, Queen Victoria. This one? 
this one. Um, and it's also, the current Queen has also ridden in this compartment as well. Mm. For definite. Nobody's too sure whether the Queen Victoria ever actually used this compartment or not, but there's a lot of rumours about it. This this bit here that I'm in. That that one compartment. Right. Okay. That little bit. Uh, this this is the chair that the current queen rode in in her visit here, 2004. Okay. Victoria. Very angry atmosphere in here. Are you feeling something in there? Yeah, I'm just sensing it now. Very angry. Very uh, growly. Very very heavy. Very. Yeah. So as, du as duty guard, I'm authorising these people to for first class upgrade. Does that make any difference? Yeah. That made a difference? Yeah, he seems a bit happier. It's a bloke. Very growly, very first class sort of toffee nose bloke. What are you doing in here? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get out? I just didn't like it in there. Yeah, it's sort of get out, this is yeah, mine, you know, this is you haven't paid your ticket. Yeah. Really grrr, like, yeah. growling, really growling. Didn't like it at all. Yeah. But he doesn't seem that rich, if you know what I mean. Doesn't look that well to do, it's really strange. Maybe it's his day off from being rich or something, I don't know. <laughs> he looks a bit of a um, scoundrel type guy. Very scoundrel, scoundrelly, you know, sort of. But yeah. He's settled down a bit now. He was growling, as you say. I think he's a bit, probably a bit sexist as well. That's yes, women. <laughs> really, he's in the royal carriage of two queens that have been yeah, in Yeah, that's really strange, isn't it? <coughs> Maybe he came after. I got told to sit down as soon as we came in here. Oh, so you did. <laughs> I'm very obedient like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it female, male? Female. Yeah, I, I feel there's a, a very strong... She is. ...female school teacher voice. Yeah. I Granny Winters. I don't know, she's, she's kind of don't want to see. You're in her space, this is like, you shouldn't be here. Um, but she doesn't class herself as being a cook. She's there to nourish the soul, that's what I'd like to say. <laughs> Is that, people, is that what she's telling you to yeah, say? Or? To nourish, yeah, to nourish the soul. To make people feel happy and warm that they've been fed and they can and they can go and do their job. Can you feel there's anybody here now though, Janice? It's not as strong as the first time we came in here. But it's definitely an energy in here, a female. Doesn't, like I said, doesn't class herself as a cook. Or, as she would say, a child lady, because she would hate to be called that. And I respect you enough not to call you a child lady, but make up to tea for people. But, like she said, she likes to nourish the soul. So you'd get cakes, you know, baked for you. Who, who ran the place before Diagos? in the kitchen because Diane ran it before me, didn't she? Oh yeah, I mean, um, there was a little green caravan on the other side of the uh, signal box. That was the refreshments and she was in there. So who was that? That was Diane. Right, and who, so she, who before Diane? Uh, a number of kids really, it was nothing, nothing fantastic. No one would tell. Uh, <laughs> and then she sort of took home. Mm. Yeah, I don't think she likes people being in her. Oh, she's made me over just three feet. She makes me want to keep on stepping yeah. out of her way. Yeah. 
person she's busy and you're yeah i'm a pest yeah that's the overwhelming feeling that i keep getting is that i'm a pest i think that's why she's talking but to sit she down. doesn't mind the men being in it no it's kind of a bit weird if you you know a woman dominated in the kitchen and you're under her feet can't you get out under my feet what if the turf has gone out no that she doesn't mind you being in there I think it's strange that, you know, when you're cooking at home and, you, you know, you, you're with your wife or partner or whatever and you're always like, oh, get out, I need to do something. You know, you don't want them under your feet. She doesn't like it. I think she likes, because she used to bring teas and stuff to, to the work with him, she doesn't mind them being in her space. But she does make you want to keep moving. Mm. Maybe she's, she's, maybe she sees us as like we should be making cups of tea for them, yeah. getting them something to eat. You know, we just stood around chatting. You know, idle gossip. Oh, wow, my ear is burning. No, it's, I think well, I don't know whether that was my hair tickling me <laughs> or something. It was that ooh. Yeah, it's 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 like we we should be pandering to them. You know, no, don't we need it's respect? like the kind of things <laughs> I'm getting. We should be getting you a cup of tea and making you, you know, something because you've been on your feet all day, you know, and it's kind of why you just stood around. But she is, you know, it, it's not as heavy. Like I said, the first time I came in here, it was like, what are you doing there? You're, you know, busy. Is she here now? Not as strong. Is it Granny Winter that's here? Or is it somebody else? No, I think it's somebody else. Don't feel... It's somebody who took pride in what they were doing. Liked feeding them in. Liked everything. Speak and span and cooking. Making homemade stuff. This one's going to sound a bit corny. We've got children in here. Two or three children ready to go to the beach. I know it's the Isle of Wight one, unfortunately, she's told me. But I'm just reading what I'm getting. Um, it's like a typical sort of three boys all excited. Timothy is, is, is one of them. They seem very happy. not got mum and dad though. I can't pick them up as yet. But all I've got is three excited boys in here who are going to the beach. So they're all excited. Timothy and John. I got John. You got John? Yep. John, yeah. They're all quite excited, they're all sort of full of energy. They've got their buckets and Spades, all ready to go, and little towels. Age-wise, I'm um, just going to try and get an age for you. Look, I'm going to have to estimate because obviously they're too. Don't think they're going to talk. They're too excited. I imagine the youngest one's about seven. Seven. The oldest one looks about 15. Maybe. The other one's 12, yeah, so that's quite a good, nice even. Look alright. Where they come down from? Oh, they've come down from London. They've come down from London for the day on the train. They've come to the Isle of Wight to go to the sand to see. Um, which beach are they going to? Or which town? Sand down. Sand down. They're going to sand down. All excited. They're all sort of looking out the window, all diving, diving around, all excited like. That's far, yeah. See if I can get a surname for you. Get a surname. 
Dalton, 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 Dalton comes comes in, Dalton, John Dalton, name's familiar. Um, Just the door a couple of compartments up, just gently. Just closed? Yeah, just the, the door that we opened a minute ago is just shut. Oh, That's right, it. okay. That's right. It's a little bit of wind out there. Oh, okay. Just going to say, that's interesting. Okay. Door shut when all shut. Door slamming. Um. Are they going to meet with relatives? No, I think they're just down here for the day, just on holiday. Come down for a day trip from London, go spend a day by the beach.